Hey, what's up, trendsetters? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to present to you guys today a part two. So this is episode two of my soul care series. And obviously, if you read the title, you know what I'll be talking about today or some of the things I'll be talking about. So before we get started, I need you guys to grab some food, grab your popcorn or whatever, grab some, grab a beverage. This right here is, it's not wine, <laughs> it's virgin. This is sparkling cider. It's cranberry sparkling cider. And I know that there might be some young um, kids or young just people watching me that are underage, so I did not want to drink wine in this video. But, of course, if you are of age, grab whatever you'd like. Cranberry juice, water, whatever. Um, so if you're interested, please keep on watching. So I just need to, I already said my grace, so don't get on me, but um, take a bite of this because I'm so hungry. Uh, so, um, I went to the gym this morning. I was, I don't know, I was struggling today. Like, it just was not my day. I think that my body just really needs to rest. Um, I've gone to the gym, like, I don't know, probably at least like four or five times this week already. So, I feel like I just needed to, and I haven't been getting a lot of sleep. I haven't been eating that much because I've been, you know, pretty busy, but... Anyway, um, just give me one sec. I'm so hungry. So, um, yeah, I really wanted to, I wasn't going to eat in this video, but I'm so hungry. So, here we go. But, um, how's everybody's week? How's everybody been doing? What's been going on? I feel like, I don't know, these past few weeks, September has been, at least for me, a month of change and just, I don't know, also a month of just me stepping outside of my comfort zone. Like, I don't know, this month I've had so much going on, but like so many good things and just blessings. But one thing I have to say is that like, I'm very uncomfortable right now, very uncomfortable, even like surprisingly enough behind this camera like I'm like uh, um, you know cuz I'm not I'm already not super outgoing um, yeah I'm actually pretty shy so just imagine cutting on a camera and I don't know opening up to people that you don't know <laughs> but anyway so that in and of itself has kind of been holding me back sometimes on just even cutting on the camera like there's so much that I have planned for you guys um but I just I don't know sometimes I paralyze myself from just cutting on the camera and just recording like just do it um and that's actually what my video was about um of soul care part one but yet, I'm not taking my own advice. So that's kind of how I've been doing. Um, well, one of the many things that I've been, you know, trying to work on. Um, I'm taking a gap semester from school right now. I just need some time to, you know, just not only self-reflect, but also just figure out what I want to do, you know, and get some clarity. So I really just feel like God has called me I'm not gonna say into an isolation season but just into a season where I have to listen to him because like I said I'm taking a lot of steps and a lot of leaps of faith um, and I can't do it alone like <laughs> I'm in such an uncomfortable spot where I know I need God I know I need him to guide me I know I need his clarity before I, I make a move because I don't know what I'm doing so well I shouldn't say that but I'm just I'm in an uncomfortable space where I need him to guide me. So I'm doing a lot of things that I know I need to do. Um, and yeah, it's making me feel really good. Overall, I'd say my mental health is very good right now. You know, I have a great relationship with God and just constantly praying. I'm trying to fast more. I used to fast um, once a week, but 
I haven't been really doing that. I haven't, I know I need to because that's how I get the clarity that I feel I need. Um, so, yeah, hold on, my phone is going crazy. Okay, so not to be like negative or anything, but this is just really what I feel is going on in the world right now. Um, I feel like a lot of people are a lot more angry and just on edge. Like, I don't know if anybody else is feeling this, but like these past few months, like, and honestly, majority of the summer, I just feel like a lot of people have been more um, irritable. And I really feel like it's just like, it actually, it kind of hurts my heart because I really feel like I can sense when, um, like, not what people are going through, but kind of just like, what kind of that, like what they're going through or that they're going through a hard time. And like, I kind of, I just, I want a lot more people to extend others grace. Like, I feel like, um, I don't know, just like nowadays, <sighs> You call someone and like, for example, you call, let's say you wanna make an appointment for something. And like the people, the employees, they're just, the staff, they're just so rude. Like, or the, you know, the person on the phone, the person who answers the phone. And I just, I don't understand. Like nowadays, it just seems like etiquette has gone out the door. And etiquette, I'm gonna speak on a lot of um things that I feel because etiquette is a broad term um you can have like etiquette when you're eating phone etiquette like that's etiquette to me um and I really feel like a lot of people don't the way they answer the phone it's like I don't know you're already like putting that like you're already just mad you know and that kind of like ruins other people's day you shouldn't let it ruin your day but sometimes you don't know what the other person on the phone is going through so just yeah like let me cut my phone off <laughs> i keep getting like all these notifications but um yeah just like i really feel like that's something that we all can work on like i am not gonna sit here and be a hypocrite i do have my times where i'm irritated or i may be mad but like I try my best not to take that out on others and I really feel like others should be reminded not to do that. Um, you don't know what somebody's going through and just kind of like, for example, at least for me and what I was taught, when you answer the phone, like even at my first job, there's a way that you should answer the phone. For one, you should be, you know, you should say, okay, this is, this is Pizza Hut because that was my first job. So I'm going to say that like, you know. Thank you for calling Pizza Hut and blank, 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 wherever you are. This is Trinity. For example, me, this is Trinity speaking. How can I help you? A lot of people nowadays, they they don't say who they are. They don't say like the company they're working for. Like not only is there a lot of scamming going on, but like that to me is just kind of rude. I feel like you should answer and tell the person, you know, who you are. And just, it kind of like, it brings like positivity <laughs> and like a lot of us you know we may not always feel like working but when you do that it also makes the other person nicer in my opinion so that's one thing etiquette uh, or one aspect of etiquette that I want to talk about but another one is just that nowadays I just feel like people just lack etiquette in general like I feel like this goes for men and women like how people carry themselves I, I mean in various aspects honestly um I mean humble um carry yourself with humility modest being modest and just I'm just trying to say like you should carry yourself in a way that you would want to attract um so it's good to have like you know other friends that are also believers and all that so to gravitate that or to have that come to you because god will bring those people in your life you have to steward it so you have to also kind of in a way be that way because god at the end of the day takes care of all his children so if you're not ready to steward the people that god is about to bless you with 
he's not gonna give it to you. Just like blessings, he's not gonna bless you. He, or I should not say not because God is, <laughs> he's amazing and he does everything. Uh, and he does the impossible. But what I'm trying to say is that God doesn't always give you the blessing or the prayer that you've been asking or the the wish that you've been asking for not the wish but he hasn't always been he doesn't always give you what you want at the time because you have to be ready and you have to that goes for many aspects of your life so for one um the people that you want to gravitate to you the people that come into your life are a form of a blessing as well and two just blessings as far as where you want to be in life and fulfilling your purpose and success you have to be ready for those things because we have to be good stewards so whatever god grants us we have to be a good steward to that a good steward to people a good steward to the things that we're blessed with for example some people they want another car well do you steward the car that you have do you take care of it do you like god that's I feel like that's how he sees it. He wants us to take care of what we have to show him like, in my opinion, this is a test of faith. I kind of just like abandoned my food and drink, but here it is. No matter how old you are or what your financial circumstance is, there's always a way to romanticize your life. For example, if you don't have wine glasses, you can go to the dollar store and they have the little like plastic ones. You can pour some cranberry juice, any type of juice and drink it. This is a good way to, I like to do this for self care. I just feel like it makes me feel better. Obviously do what makes you feel good. Um, but yeah, that's just one way. I did want to include that in the video because I feel like it's a good reminder to do self care as well as soul care. In my opinion, soul care is more important, but also self care is a good way of, you know, just keeping your mental health up and also taking care of your outer appearance as well as just your mental health. Um, soul care does that as well, but you know, it is nice to do a face mask and a little foot scrub and repaint your, get a manicure, pedicure. Um, I did a lot of stuff last night. Um, I did a face mask and I did a, um, oh, I repainted my toes. I did a little scrub. I do a scrub maybe like three times a week. So I scrub my feet again with a little pumice stone. And because I stopped using the little like graders, I heard those are bad for your feet. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, they do work in my opinion. Like when you go to the nail salon, I feel like it does a good job, but I stopped using it at least because I'm not a professional. So I used the pumice stone and that's been working. Like, yeah, I feel like my toes look really good. I repainted it, um, ladies and gents. Make sure you take care of your feet. Not only is it important, um, but for me, I like to keep it painted and stuff like that. It just makes me feel pretty and I don't know, just put together. But also, if you go to the gym and you work out like me, then it is very important to take care of your feet because you need to maintain your, um, not only your heels, but also your toenails. You need to make sure they're trimmed and filed and all that good stuff because it does, or at least for me, it starts to hurt when I work out in my tennis shoes if my nails are too long and they're like rubbing up against the toe. I mean the shoe because I wear like running shoes when I go to the gym. Um, so yeah, I try to keep my, I definitely keep my toes like taken care of and that's just one of the things that I did yesterday. But anyway, maybe I'll do a self care video. Would you guys like that? You like a self care of like what I do with my skin and my body care. Um, my foot care, my nail care. I have a clear coat on right now because I don't have my acrylics on. Um, but yeah, so self care is very important as well um, for men and women. And of course, soul care because that's what we're here for today. But anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I wanted to read this scripture 
This is um, the book of James, chapter 4, verse 6. So it reads, But he gives us more grace. That is why scripture says, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. So this really resonated with me today um, because it's just a, a good reminder to remain humble. Um, obviously, when we don't, like, God humbles us quick. <laughs> and... Um, this is just something I try to stay on top of. You know, we all need that reminder to be humble. And humility is not just with other people, but it's most importantly with God. Being humble and knowing that, like I said in the last video, your will is not more important than his and your will is not always God's will. So sometimes you have to humble yourself and allow God to lead the way. Um, so one thing that I do is I, like I have to do this prayer a lot sometimes I do it daily but I ask God like Lord I invite you into my day and I just pray that you give me the strength and guidance and also that you give me the strength to obey you you know sometimes like we disobey God out of lack of trust or lack of faith so a good prayer is to ask for that strength um and you know just ask invite him into your day like i said god gives us free will so you know we have to it's good to have a relationship with god like that's what he wants we we all should have a relationship with god um so yeah that's one and then another one is this is also the book of james chapter 4 this one's verse 10 and it reads humble yourself before the lord and he will lift you up so um I, like i talked about in my last video um, a good way to humble yourself is to fast but not only that but just surrender and allow God to lead the way in your life and this is something that you have to do daily it says in the word pick up your cross daily meaning you actively um, have to live a very intentional life with God like just give him um, if you're new to it just start off with like five minutes then the next time 10 then the next time 15 and you eventually build up that strength um your faith is kind of like a muscle you have to work on it we all have you know different levels of faith so to strengthen it you have to one read the word most importantly um, put on the full armor of god because god gives us a ton of reassurance in the word um he yeah he definitely like it's just good to have um you'll have more confidence throughout the day you'll have less anxiety i've noticed and i know i've noticed this was with other people as well but when you're anxious when you're anxious it's because you're you have a lack of trust you you want to be in control because you think something's going to go wrong or you're anxious about something you want to get something done but in the word it says be anxious about nothing so um definitely you know try not to control your life too much and this is something that i'm this is advice that i need to take <laughs> because i am i'm not going to claim this anymore but i used to be a perfectionist um and it's something that god is still like taking out of me like i feel like it's a part of the sanctification process which is not an overnight process but that's something that god is working on in me um i always try to control things but just sometimes you just have to let god be god like let god be god i feel like that would be a good shirt is there a shirt that says let god be god or just let god like I don't know. that's tough that would be a yeah i like that that would be a good t-shirt but um or hoodie because i love hoodies and we're getting into the winter season but yeah how do you guys feel about me doing a vlog i don't know or maybe not a vlog i feel like i kind of have to level to that I don't know but maybe like a Sunday reset I've actually tried to record that as well as a morning routine but please give me um some recommendations comment it down below and let me know like what you guys want to see from me or ask me questions like what else do you guys want me to talk about in soul care um I mean I have more ideas but it's nice to get your insight 
Um, and then also, please let me know how everybody's doing. I'm genuinely curious. I'm not just saying that to say it. Like, we're having a conversation here. Like, we're supposed to develop a relationship. We're brothers and sisters. So let me know how you're doing. Drop it down in the comments. Encourage each other. Like, that's the type of environment that I want. That's the type of um, theme, I guess you could say, I'm going for with this channel. Um, I want us to uplift each other and... You know, like I'm opening up to you guys and things that I want to work on. What are you guys working on? Or like, can you relate to some of the things that I'm saying? Or do you feel what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, yeah. And then also, I'm just curious, like, I don't know. Do you guys like what I've posted so far? Like, what is your favorite? Actually, drop down what your favorite series is. Do you guys like this Soul Carry series? I like that. I have to say this is my favorite that I've done so far. And I feel like it will be my number one. Um, but obviously, I have other things that I'm going to be posting soon. Such as, um, so I have Faith and Beauty done. I did the perfume collection and all that. But I also have a fitness and wellness um, playlist coming soon. Um, I'm thinking about doing maybe an at-home workout routine um, and or not routine but just like a video of like what you can do or what I do um, and then I also have a wellness playlist coming up soon um, that is gonna consist of like cooking videos and stuff like that like I said in the first video I do eventually want to transition into being vegan I'm not sure whether I'll give up everything like right now i'm not gonna lie my struggle is dairy i really like well not dairy because i don't drink whole milk i drink plant-based milk i'm lactose but lactose intolerant um but i really like cheese and i really like ice cream um i don't eat ice cream that much but i like it um i've tried like a dairy free one before it was pretty good but you know when you're used to something you kind of just stick to that so um yeah, comment down below also like if you guys are vegan or if you're vegetarian or if you don't eat red meat, that's what I do. I don't eat red meat. Um, so I eat turkey, chicken, I'll eat eggs, um, and then I drink plant-based milks and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like what, you know, do you guys want to see that? Do you want to see a cooking video? Do you want to see like a, a vegan option or a vegetarian option? Like what do you guys want to see? So this journey is us we're on a journey together <laughs> not just me um another thing i've noticed i'm very kinesthetic in these videos i move my hands a lot like i don't think i really do that in person maybe i do <laughs> but um yeah and then like are you guys in school like what's going on i know a lot of people went back to school i went back to school i just recently withdrew from my class um because like i said i'm taking a gap semester just to figure out what i want to do and get some clarity um yeah like what's been going on how was everybody's week um you know how's school how's work like what's going on also i will be um creating a work email so hopefully um you guys if there's something if you guys have prayer requests or anything that you want to like a way of just reaching me or maybe sending something i'm not gonna say anonymously but just where it's not to the public that's a good way to reach me um and then also business inquiries hopefully i get a sponsorship um i really want a skincare sponsorship because if you guys know me and if you follow me on tiktok and just for my friends and family you all know i love skincare i love my face um i love all my face products i love all my body care products and yeah i'm really into cosmetics but more so skincare i love like that's like my favorite part of my night routine i'm not gonna lie so um maybe i'll do a night routine soon but i really feel like that would be a good video like a sunday reset that consists of um my skincare routine like and maybe yeah I think I would include some of it but I think I would do a separate skincare routine video um, so yeah oh how does everybody feel about the gym like or I know I have some friends who are like trying to you know get into the gym and be consistent with it and stuff and I know some people who 
um yeah they they're trying to be more consistent how does everybody feel about the gym like um what are you guys what are your goals like what are you working on um my goal when i go to the gym is just honestly just overall fitness like i just want to be fit um i want to have a healthy bmi body mass index um but also like i'm i'm gonna be honest i'm happy with the way my body looks i do want to gain a little bit more weight um i'm right now when am i i'm probably like 150 but i've seen myself at 160 and that's when i was i was toned matter of fact i i was ripped at that time um and i kind of want to see my body back at that that weight um but at the same time I don't know like I think it's because I'm not that was back when I was playing um, collegiate volleyball so I was obviously lifting a lot more and stuff like that and don't get me wrong I'm still lifting but I think that my workouts have obviously changed since then I'm not playing volleyball anymore um, I am coaching by the way but I'm not I'm not actively playing so um, yeah I just I definitely want to gain some weight um, I want to I'm pretty toned right now, but I do want to get gain a little bit more. I feel like if I eat three meals a day or if I eat a little bit more um, and get more protein incorporated in my diet, um, I feel like I would see a change. Like my arms are pretty skinny. I'm not going to lie. Like I do a lot of like push ups and like um, power power. <laughs> power press I mean power cleans and clean and press but oh my gosh I still said it wrong power cleans and power press I think is what it is the one where you're just going up and I feel like you know my arms are at like a pretty good place as far as strength as well as my back and my triceps but I really just want to work on um Kind of beefing up a little bit more i'm gonna just be honest like i am starting to get a little bit skinny um i'm already tall so i i like my body to be a little filled out i don't want to be tall and slinky <laughs> but um yeah i'm at a very good place in my life right now and i hope you guys are as well um i wish we were on facetime right now so i could get some responses like i just I want to know like how's everybody doing so I hope that you guys comment that down below and please like I said earlier give me some recommendations on what you guys want to see okay so before I wrap this video up I wanted to read the devotional for today so it reads worship me only I am king of kings and lord of lords dwelling in unapproachable light I am taking care of you I am not only committed to caring for you but I am also absolutely capable of doing so Rest in me, my weary one, for this is a form of worship. Though self-flagellation has gone out of style, many of my children drive themselves like racehorses. They whip themselves into action, ignoring how exhausted they are. They forget that I am sovereign and that my ways are higher than theirs. Underneath their driven service, they may secretly resent me as a harsh chess maker. Their worship of me is lukewarm because I am no longer their first love. My invitation never changes. Come to me, all you who are weary, and I will give you rest. Let me read that again. Come to me, all you who are weary, and I will give you rest. Worship me by resting peacefully in my presence. Wow, that really hit me. <laughs> okay, now let me read. So then it gives like, let me see if I can focus this. It will give like scriptures at the bottom. Oh, excuse my nails. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but it gives like the scriptures at the bottom. So I'm going to like search these up and then read them to you. So verse Timothy chapter 6 verse 15. through 16 okay so it reads which he will display at the proper time he who is the blessed and only sovereign the king of kings and lord of lords who alone has immorality who dwells in unapproachable light whom no one has ever seen or can see 
to him be honor in eternal dominion amen so that was first um, Timothy chapter 6 verses 15 through 16 so this next one is Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 through 9 so Chapter 55. Oh my gosh. This app. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not super quick with like my physical Bible and like opening to each book. So I need to practice that. Um, I am transitioning into reading my physical Bible more. Because I feel like it's just more beneficial for me. Okay, Isaiah 55, um, verse 8 through 9. Okay, so it reads, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. What did I say, 8 through 9? Um, so this is 9. For are the heavens, oh, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Okay, let me do... What is this? Revelation 2, 4. <laughs> I'm typing so fast. <laughs> but yet I'm still looking. Okay. Revelation 2, 4. But I have this against you, that you have abandoned the love you had at first. And then Matthew 11, 28. 11, 28. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I really like that scripture. See, this is what I mean by you get reassurance in the Bible. All you got to do is ask. Ask God for rest. Ask God for peace. Ask God for whatever you need. Ask God for better mental health. Just pray. Just pray. Give it up to God. Let him be God. Let him do his work in you and fully surrender. I love you guys. And I'll see you next video.